if we can focus on each individual girl and tailor the curriculum, and provide things um, that will help her blossom, um, then we will have done a very good job for her. In education, that's what's really important, trying things out, because that's how you learn. What we offer, I think, is a, is a kind of global outlook, but in a very British setting. earned their fame and charm thanks to the best-selling books by Joan Rowling about Harry Potter. In the grand and respectable walls, young people live, work and socialize together. Here they start spreading their wings and at the same time get used to some kind of discipline and rigor. The famous British boarding school. Unique and inspiring. Well, in fact, real boarding schools do not teach you how to make spells, but one can't deny there's some sort of magic in them. Jest bardzo dużo ludzi z całego świata, bardzo dużo niesamowicie inteligentnych ludzi, którzy są rozmawiają i ja się też na co dzień uczę się bardzo dużo do moich znajomych, nie tylko od nauczycieli. This is where pupils discover their passions, talents, and face their first challenges. But perhaps the most important thing the teachers know how to guide a pupil to help their potential to flourish. From the minute you walk onto the grounds of the school, you get a sense of community, and the girls are very confident in this community. Badminton School in Bristol is a school for girls, a cosy campus and almost family-like atmosphere. Some girls are out there playing. Sports activities are an important part of the curriculum. Meanwhile, another group is finishing their arts class. The best pictures will soon be displayed in the school's gallery. They really enjoy what they do and we teach them to do things well, to, you know, really important craft skills. And it's about that kind of educating people to be visually astute, to have an aesthetic awareness and an understanding. And that's a really important kind of life enriching, you know, skill and experience, I think. You may only enter the premises of the school after prior arrangement. This is because of security. For the principal, Rebecca Teer, it's utterly important that the girls feel safe and comfortable. It makes the teaching learning process more effective. Being confident, they can really engage with everything, play a role in it, and they're prepared to try things out. And for me, in education, that's what's really important, trying things out, because that's how you learn. Bruton School looks like the world in miniature. In the halls of residence, you will find pupils from nearby Somerset living and working alongside those from distant countries and cultures. Poland um, and Mexico, uh, Kenya, Russia, Germany, Spain, Hong Kong, China, uh, South Korea, Nigeria, so a real wide variety. This diversity is not a coincidence. The school's mission is to prepare young people to live in a globalizing and highly diversified world. That it's important for the girls to have an understanding of different cultures um, and how they work and operate. The school's principal is convinced that schools for girls have only a very positive effect on the academic performance of the pupils. Girls' schools produce most girls scientists um, going off into universities these days. Um, now that links really nicely with our focus on critical and creative thinking. Comprehensive educational development at this stage does not only refer to the sciences. British boarding schools give their pupils a chance to further their artistic talents, whether it's drama in well-equipped theatre halls, or design, or music. Overbrooks College is a co-educational school. Its major advantage is location. The school is based in Oxford, near the famous university. 
So it allows the pupils to use the resources of this prestigious academia. We have links with the university, we have speakers from there, we work with their clubs and their, their um, programmes so we can use their facilities. So we have a, a concert next week that is in university buildings, uh, it's part of one of the colleges. So it gives us access to lots of resources. Many of our teachers actually were from Oxford so they've got that experience as well. A real British boarding school is more than just learning, it's a very special way of life. Here, pupils supervised by their personal tutors not only increase their knowledge, but also develop their passions and talents. And what's equally important, they make friendships which in many cases will last a lifetime. Julia came to Overbrooks nearly a year ago. She will soon be taking her A-levels here. She's planning to continue at a university, possibly Cambridge. What we offer, I think, is a, is a kind of global outlook, but in a very British setting. Um, the way we teach is very, very interactive and in small classes. So we can get to know each student well, and we can adjust according to what their background is, any issues they have in particular subjects. So it's a very personal approach to teaching. open environment. Students are very friendly to each other. Staff and students have a very easy, uh, comfortable rapport with each other. So I think students who come from other countries immediately feel welcome and we do a lot to make them feel welcome. We have a really good induction program. We make sure they've got a friend who knows the school already, who's paired up with them for the first few days and weeks. But before anyone starts to fully use the resources provided by the school, the students must break the ice and make friends with a new environment. The teachers realize perfectly well how important it is for the students to go through the first period of their stay at school. They know the pupils need extra support and they always provide it if and when needed. We have an international student supporter. Well, in fact, we have a group of international student supporters um, who are appointed to help with the overseas students when they arrive. Um, and they'll be paired up with the students, um, with individual students, to support them in any particular problems that they might have. It's a great challenge and, and very enjoyable. And, you know, at the end of the day, they, they go out into the world and I think they've really taken something of, of our way of life um, back home again, which I think is very important in this age of international, global, the global world in which we live. Not everyone, though, returns home straight away. Many pupils make their way to good universities and continue their education. In many cases, they receive scholarships which enable them to pursue the degree of their choice. But even as students, they don't lose touch with their former schools, which try to monitor the careers of their pupils. We keep in touch and invite them back to give talks and so on, to enrich the life of the girls who are already here. We had a good percentage go to Oxford and Cambridge. We had a good cohort go on to be medics. But then again, we had a girl go off to the Guildhall School of Music to pursue a career as a singer, and another girl go to Central St Martins to start a, a career in art. So it's pretty diverse, and the girls are confident enough to be their own person, and we will support them to be that. Recently, actually, last week, had an email from a student from America who had been here. Uh, I have to say this is the first time I've had contact with him since he left, but this is to tell me that his children are now old enough to come here and could he come and talk to me about his children coming here, which was lovely. The time spent at a British boarding school is an exceptional opportunity for talented young pupils, an opportunity which is open to all thanks to various scholarship schemes. More details are available on the British Council website.